the shadows of the imagination ah! lies the ultimate nightmare. Don't let them bury me. I'm not dead. Guys, welcome back to my October horror movie reviews and we're going to be ending on a cracker. We're going to be looking at the 1988 American voodoo horror zombie film, The Serpent and the Rainbow. And this is directed by Wes Craven and stars Bill Pullman, Kathy Tyson and Zakes Mokay. And it's one of my favorite Wes Craven films. It stars Bill Pullman, who's awesome as always, and contains the subject matter which I love, which is voodoo. I find it very creepy, very fascinating, and very cool. And it's probably one of the reasons I love the Roger Moore live and let die James Bond entry, because of the voodoo stuff. And talking about James Bond, there is a scene in this movie which I think inspired the chair torture scene in Casino Royale. Yeah. What do you want? I want to hear you scream. Oh, no. Okay. And supposedly there was a three hour original cut of this movie, which I think would be very interesting to watch. Seeing as I already enjoy this movie, I'd like to see where else they could have taken it. Did it involve more voodoo stuff? Did it? I want to know. Um, but at the time, Wes Craven, he just said, oh, it's, it's too long, it's, it's too talky, I'm going to cut it down. And we got the film that we got, and I'm not complaining. So without further ado, let's check it out. The Serpent and the Rainbow is set in 1985, and Dr. Dennis Allen, played by Bill Pullman, is an ethnobotanist from Harvard University who travels to remote and exotic parts of the world to acquire rare herbs and medicines from locals to be researched and manufactured by big pharmaceutical companies to help the sick. Dennis's latest job offer is from the big pharmaceutical company Biocorp, who want him to investigate reports of a man in Haiti who was assumed dead, buried, but rose from the grave. Believing the man was under the effects of a local black magic zombie drug which Biocorp believe could revolutionize medicine. Dennis travels to Haiti and meets up with Dr. Mariel Ducamp, played by Kathy Tyson, who has seen firsthand those who have risen from the dead. With Mariel's help, they track down the zombie Haiti man in the report from earlier and discover how he became a zombie. It's a powder. A poison. To the skin, to the soul. Confirming the zombification is the result of a drug, Dennis and Mariel inquire around town to find someone who can give them a sample of this powder. Dennis's business in town, however, doesn't go unnoticed, and Captain Dargent Petro, played by Zakes Mokay, who is a powerful voodoo witch doctor and commander of the feared Tonton Makut, wants Dennis out of the country, or worse, dead. Dennis puts his own life on the line and remains in Haiti at his own expense and delves deep into the Haitian voodoo culture to get the powder. As a result, he experiences otherworldly and nightmarish situations that push him closer to the edge between life and death. <laughs> This movie really pushes the fact that it's inspired by a true story, that the zombie powder and its active ingredient tetrodotoxin creates the effect of zombification. However, since 1990, all the scientific communities have pretty much said this is complete garbage, thus making this film totally irrelevant. 
Nah, not really. It's still a really good horror movie. And who cares if Tetra 2 toxin doesn't cause zombification? Let's just use our imaginations. This film has a lot of scares in it. It has lasting unnerving power. I mean, it touches on the phobias, uh, the fear of snakes, the fear of spiders, and the fear of being buried alive. And I honestly think the fear of being buried alive, medically known as taphophobia, is the scariest thing. And Wes Craven really captures that on film. He has a lot of shots in this movie that really play upon this fear of being isolated and helpless, which is really unsettling. Overall, this is a really good horror movie. It's creepy, it's unsettling, and it, it's got everything. It's got zombies, it's got voodoo, it's got everything. It does have some really good practical effects. It's definitely worth checking out, particularly if you're thinking about visiting Haiti anytime soon. And guys, let me know what you think about this movie in the comments below, and what's your favorite voodoo movie? As always, guys, thanks for tuning in. Happy Halloween! I'm Paddy McManus, and boogity boogity boo! Yeah!